That's a good fucking question. Let me rattle off a list for you to tell you what makes a shitbox a shitbox. And this isn't an all-inclusive list, so feel free to add to it. One, it definitely costs less than five fucking grand. If it's over five grand, it's not a shitbox, unless you got ripped off, and then that's just your fault. The body definitely is beat up. It has a bunch of dents, scratches. It probably has some fucking heavy amounts of rust, and it at least has some peeling clear coat. The interior has seen better days. There's a bunch of rips and tears. The fucking recliner may or may not work on the fucking driver's seat. The radio may or may not work. And it definitely does not have fucking Bluetooth. And at least one or two, three, four of the speakers are fucking blown and the music sounds like shit. The engine runs pretty fucking rough. So the check engine light is definitely fucking on. If the check engine light ain't on, it ain't a shitbox, unless it's been on for so long that the light has been burnt out, but that doesn't really count. There's definitely a hole in the fucking muffler or somewhere else in the exhaust, so it's loud for no fucking reason at all. The brake lights, if you have a third brake light, only two out of the three or one out of the three or none of them fucking work. All three fucking brake lights do not fucking work. And at least one of the fucking headlights are completely fogged over to the point that if you turn the headlights on, if they do turn on, you can barely tell that they're fucking on. The car handles like shit, the alignment's fucking way off, and you definitely have some bad fucking brakes and they squeal and wake up neighbors from three miles away when you fucking have to brake hard.